guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie, but everyone calls me Tally. So I created this YouTube page to be able to share with you guys tricks about lashing, lifestyle, everything, etc. Um, I started this YouTube video just because I'm always on Instagram and I'm always talking and giving everybody like all my little tricks about lashing everything so i figured hey why not why not join the youtube family and start my own channel so please subscribe to my channel click on the little bell for notifications whenever i post a new video and don't forget to please share once we get to 500 um followers i will be doing a good giveaway so let's get started um today's video is going to be what you need to start your lash business um a lot of people think that you need a whole bunch of money to start a lash business. No, you just need the basics. Um, obviously, the first thing that you need to start your business is to get certified by either um, a professional school or a lash educator. You need that so that you can have knowledge on what you're doing. So with that being said, first thing you need to do is get your certification for lashing. Second thing you need to do is take your training, do great, go home, practice on your circle of influence, friends, families, build your clientele. Um, also, one of the things that you need is a lash bed. So it could be a massage bed, it could be a recliner. It depends, everybody likes different um, beds. I prefer the massage bed because I feel like with the recliner, yes, it's comfortable, but I feel like some people don't fit in there very well. So I'd rather have a massage, massage bed, make it comfortable, and that works fine for me. Um, besides the lash bed, you would need a ring light or just a light. Um, you can go on Amazon and grab those. I have a glam core light. Um, if you're just starting out your business, I don't suggest that you invest that much money. I suggest you start out a little low until you grow your clientele and are able to, you know, buy better things. But right now, when you're starting your business, you want to be able to, you know, not go too crazy until you build that clientele. Once you build that clientele and you have a steady clientele, then you can start buying more fancy things and um, brand stuff whatever you want to do. I know that when I started, um, it's a long story. So if you want to hear, if you want to see a video on how I started and why I started, message me below and I will make another video for that because um, talking about it is very emotional and it takes a lot, a lot of time to talk about it because it's an experience that I went through and it has led me to this. And honestly, I can't believe how far I've come in the two years that I've been lashing. So if you want to hear that story, send me a message, comment below, and I will make that video for you guys. But besides the lash bed, you need a light. You obviously need a chair. Um, I started off with a very flat chair, which was hurting my butt. So I finally upgraded not too long ago to a saddle chair, which is like a lifesaver. It just kind of helps support your back and keeps you straight. So the saddle chair. But for the basic, for the beginners, you need a bed, a light, a chair, and obviously your supply. So with that being said, you are, first thing you're gonna need is one of these. If you guys don't know what this is, this will read your temperature and your humidity in your room in order for your lashes to have good retention or for your glue to work or cure. So this is very important to have and you can get these off Amazon. I believe I got this one for like $11.99 off Amazon and I have two. So I keep one on each side of the room to make sure that the temperature and the humidity adds up because sometimes it might be cold over there, it might be hot over here, the humidity might be low, whatever. You need one of these, right? Glue rings. These glue rings are from Amazon. All this stuff is from Amazon. Glue rings, or if you don't feel comfortable with a glue ring, you can use a jade stone, which I have here and it would open for you, and I'll show you what it looks like. Glue rings. Spoolies for your clients. You give these to your clients. After you're done with your service, you give them one and they take it home and make sure they brush their lashes. 
Micro swabs, I use these to prime lashes. I didn't prime lashes in the beginning because I don't know, I didn't really know much about the whole priming technique, but now priming is a must for me because of retention. You have a lot of clients that might come in and they'll be like, yeah, my lashes are clean. No, the lashes are not clean. So you have to go in and prime them to make sure that the retention is good. So these are off Amazon. I get about like 500, probably for like 9.99. I mean, you can find them for cheaper, but this is good. This is good for priming and it's also good for removal. So I use this for removal and priming. So this glue rings, spoolies, massage bed, light, chair. You're going to need your lip applicators. So I use these to remove or even to prime. So I use two different kinds. I don't know, I just like these because they have like the little glittery thing. So I get a hundred of these off Amazon for about like $7.99, so Amazon. Everything is Amazon practically. Next thing you're gonna need is tape because you wanna be able to tape those lower lashes because if not, then you're gonna have a mess. You're gonna have the top lashes sticking to the bottom lashes and that's going to be a big no-no. So I personally love this tape. I forgot what it's called, next something sensitive tape, okay? This tape is bomb. You can get it off Amazon, but I personally get it off Publix because I get it for $4.99 at Publix. But if you wanna get it in bulk and spend a little extra money, you can get it off Amazon. Um, also, iPads. You need your iPads to be able to do lashes. Some people like to use tape, I use the iPad and then I cover the lower lashes with the tape, so iPads. And then you're going to need a Sharpie. It could be black, it could be green, it could be blue. Just to do your mapping. Mapping is very important in order to keep your clean work, like clean work and everything even and looking beautiful. So Sharpie, you're gonna need a Sharpie. Then you're going to need tweezers. You're going to need isolating tweezers and uh, a tweezer to pick up. Um, there's all different kinds of tweezers. I use all different kinds. I can't begin to tell you how many tweezers I have, but I'm always switching them off because since I do, ha do about five to six clients a day, what I do is after I use these, I put them in my little dirty container and then I grab another pair and by the end of the day, they go into my sterilizer. So you need tweezers, okay. After that, I'm trying to think, I don't wanna make sure that I don't miss anything that you guys need. You're going to need lashes, okay? You're going to need lashes. You can get your lashes off Amazon to start with. I use Lash View in the beginning. And let me tell you guys, I've been through so many lashes, it's not even funny. I have used uh, Verbal Lash, I have used Lash View, I have used Lash Boulevard, I have, um, EBL, Lashbox, Lib Babe. There's just so many brands that you can choose from. It just depends on what you like and what works for you and what your clients like. So to start off with, I did start with Lash View. I did start with everything from Amazon and as I slowly begin to build a clientele, I started buying more, um, more different brands and experimenting and stuff like that. So yes, you need lashes. Also, you need one of these. What is this? This is a, a seal tight container for your adhesive. So what happens if you don't store your adhesive like this, very tight in the dark, if you leave it out in your lash cart or anything like that, what's gonna happen is all that humidity is going to get into your adhesive and it's not gonna work. So that's why it's important to buy one of these. This is $7.99 on Amazon. You put your glue in it, you close it, you seal it, and it stays tight and it's dark in there. So no bad air, no bad humidity is going to get in your glue and you're gonna have better retention and the glue's gonna last you a little longer. So this off Amazon, $7.99, okay? Also, I didn't use these in the beginning, but I highly recommend you guys use them because 
I had a very bad experience not too long ago for not using my adhesive wipes to wipe down the tip of the glue. Um, I bought a brand new glue. I opened it, I shaped it, I put my um, date on it to make sure I knew when I opened it and when I was gonna be able to use it. I didn't wipe down the tip. So what happened is all that glue dried up and it just messed up my adhesive, so I wasted money on adhesive. So make sure that you always wipe the tip of your adhesives. Sorry if I sound a little crazy. Um, I'm like mumbling right now. It's my first video, guys, I'm nervous. Um, so you take this and you just wipe the tip of your adhesive bottle and make sure you keep that bottle clean. If you don't wanna purchase these, you can use aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is really good, just cut up a little bunch of little squares put them on your lash cart, and when you're done pouring your, your glue, wipe it down, close your glue, and stick it in the, in the container. Close it. But these are like $5.99 on Amazon also. So everything that you need to start your business with on Amazon, not including the bed or the light, but supply-wise, you're probably gonna spend about $180 to start with. Now, if you're gonna add a bed and a chair and a light, you're looking at maybe $300, $350 on Amazon, which is not bad to start your own business, right? Um, besides that, also you're gonna need a lash bath. Um, I make my own lash bath. You can get yours off Amazon. And if you wanna see a video on how I make my lash bath, comment below and I will get that video for you guys. So some clients come in with dirty lashes. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna give them a lash bath before you prime them and before you start adding extensions because if they're dirty and they have oils on them, what's gonna happen is when you apply that extension, it's not actually applying to your lash, it's applying to the oils. So it's not gonna be good retention at all. So lash bath, you can get off Amazon or you can make your own and I can make a video on it. Like I said, comment below if you want me to make a video on how to make lash bath and where I get my bottles and my stickers and everything else, okay? Um, also, alcohol is very important. If you don't have barbicide, alcohol, clean your tweezers. It's very important for you to sanitize your tweezers after every client. What I do is I put them in this little container that I have here. Let me show you guys. It's like a little clear thing and I just put my dirty tweezers in there and when I'm done, by the end of the day, I soak them in barbicide and I disinfect them. So it's very important that you disinfect your tweezers after every client, okay? Um, but I have this, this is also off Amazon, this little bottle, you just kind of boop, 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 boop. And I just wipe down the tweezers or if they fall on the ground, I wipe them down really quick with alcohol, but usually it's the barbicide. Um, trying to think what else I'm missing. I wanna make sure that I'm giving you guys the 411 on everything that you guys need. Oh, oh, fan, and this fan is not charged, that's embarrassing. Fan, this fan was the first fan I ever got when I started doing lashes from my lash teacher. By the way, I went to Dolly Monroe Academy, she is amazing. She is the best teacher, all my knowledge comes from her, and I have grown my business thanks to her because I showed up in her place two years ago in one of the darkest times of my life. So that's why I tell you, if you guys wanna know how I got started in this business, comment below and I will also make a video on how I started and why I started and that very difficult, dark time in my life and what happened to me. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you comment below and I will make that video. But anyways, this fan on Amazon, I believe is $9.99, okay? It's a really good fan, it has a couple of speeds. I don't know why it's not charged and I'm gonna tell you why because I use this one. So this one has three speeds. This one's from EBL. I believe this one's like 20 bucks. So I went from this to this, I upgraded. But this is always there by my side in case I need it. So yeah, I think that's about everything that you need to start your lash business. We went over glue rings, spoolies, lip applicators, uh, Michael Swabs, glue. Um, alcohol, iPads, Sharpie, lashes, glue, bed, light, and chair. That's all you need to start your business. I mean, it's simple as that. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, don't be intimidated to start this business. A lot of people are scared to start it. Do not be scared. 
Because if I would have been scared, I would not be where I am today. And I can truly, from the bottom of my heart, say that I am so, so blessed that I was able to do this and I was able to find my teacher because right now my business is blooming. I also educate on lashes. I do lash trainings. Um, so many things have changed in my life thanks to this business. But the same way I say this is the same way I say, I'm gonna say this. If you take a training and you think you're gonna come out of your training like a pro star lasher, it's not gonna happen. It takes time, hard work, practice, and dedication. Till this day, I'm still taking trainings. I'm still trying to educate myself a little better because there's always something new to learn in the lash business. Always something new that comes out. I mean, I'm telling you, every day I learn. So if you have been thinking of being your own boss and being a lash tech, do it. Do not give up. I'm telling you guys right now, do not give up. The sky's the limit, and I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen from here on. But um, super blessed. Um, once again, thank you for watching. This was my first video, so if I sign it kinda like nervous, I apologize. But if you wanna see more videos, comment below, message me, and I will make those videos for you guys. If you guys wanna see what's in my lash cart video, if you guys wanna see a lash room tour video, um, I'm going to be doing unboxings. I think I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on Wednesday. I have Amazon coming in, Lashbox, and Live Babe. So I will do an unboxing for all those things and tell you guys exactly how much I paid for her and stuff like that. And then I will love to do a studio tour. So if you guys want to see a studio tour, please comment below and let me know that you guys want to see a studio tour. And that's about it. Thank you so much. Please help me reach 500 subscribers so I can do an amazing giveaway. Also, stay tuned for so many videos. This is not only going to be lashes. This is going to be lifestyle. Um, I have a couple of things coming up uh, in January, and I want to document it, and I want you guys to